we go. Any new people move in? I was gone. Nope. Sanctuary revival project has really helped. It takes my mind off things. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. Let's see, do you Preston, you bastard? At least it's not raining. Need something? I cleared out that spot you sent me to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. Yeah, they will. Any new? I've had some bad news. Super mutants raided a settlement. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop to it. The slog, greenskins. I remember the slog. That's where all the ghouls are at. That's a ghoul settlement. How many people are actually watching this? Mine's giving a false reading, I think. Hey, Kenny. It says three people, strangely. Hmm. Because I can't really tell that well. Because having dual screens, the right screen's screwing up a little bit, which is getting annoying. Yeah. But Let's see. I'm the one who's monitoring the stream quality. You're monitoring chat. Okay, that's not good. Do you notice my HUD's fucked up? That's a glitch. So all tabbing has a chance of doing that is what I'm getting. Yeah. Fucking. There we go. That is just fucking great. I cannot. I'm gonna quickly save. Gonna see if loading to this quick save will fix it. Fucking confirm. No, it didn't. Okay, that's just fucking awesome. Are you still alive? Because apparently you've gone offline. No, I just closed the game. Ah, right. That way it'll fix, get fixed. Let's see, is it getting back up on there? Yep. Can't wait to find an armor station so that way I can get myself fixed up. 
get my helmet on and then hopefully soon find myself a chest piece for my radar armor Wise man. Welcome to the slum. We're the only tarberry bog in the Commonwealth. So what do you think of the place? <laughs> the slog? How'd you come up with that name? We didn't. It was the caravan traders who started that. I started this place a few years back. We couldn't think of a name for it. And then one day, one of the traders pulls up after it's been raining for hours and says he's never had to slog through so much mud in his life. I asked him if it was worth it, and he said, for the best tar berries in the Commonwealth, it was definitely worth it. Working here is like a slog through the mud. It's tough going, and you'll get dirty doing it, but at the end of the day, it's worth it. You mm. probably noticed it's only ghouls around here. I used to live in Diamond City, until that rat bastard mayor threw me and all the other ghouls out. I decided that we ghouls should have a place where we could feel welcome. And that's mainly why I started up this farm. Why did the mayor throw you out? We're ugly. We turn feral and kill people. We give the kids nightmares. All the usual stuff we get from you smooth skins. Now, it's true that there was one incident in Diamond City. A ghoul turned feral and someone got hurt. But I ask you this. How many humans have suddenly turned violent and killed someone? A lot. I've seen it more times than I care to admit. What if this place could be more than just a refuge for ghouls who aren't welcome elsewhere? What if it could also be an example of what we can do when we put our minds to something and work together? We want this to be a place that everyone looks forward to visiting, with smiling faces, good bargains, and great produce. Maybe we can make people take a second look, you know? Maybe then they'd see that we're not monsters. I think it's a great idea. You really think so? Because if you do, we could definitely use some help. We can't sell tarberries without traders. And trade caravans need safe roads. There's a gang of super mutants that's been preying on anyone who comes near their turf, including traders. It'd be a great help to us if you could take care of those brutes once and for all. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were going to do. We'll probably end up bullshit. I think growing something in that. Man, it sucks that they can only grow tar berries. But it is their main e export. And if people are actually fucking trying to get the tar berries. Must be good. So where the fuck are these mutants at? Let me guess, they're so fucking far away that it would not matter if they if I even hunted them down. Brenhart Banks. No, actually, this one's actually correct. Correct. I knew you would help us. Actually, this place is a really big farm. Fucking wow. I was surprised they don't have their own guards, the caravan guards stuff like that. Well, they couldn't have caravan guards specifically, but you know, not turret systems. How big they are, you'd expect them to have a third system. Or something. Ooh, military place. Oh, fuck. 
I thought it was just a gutsy. I definitely want to sell Tron Companion, but I don't think I'm going to get one. Because that would be awesome. Because they're lightning fast, they can fucking jump everywhere. I'd be able to find this. They it. apparently have a fucking giga beam inside their chest. No, it comes from their, their eyes. Face. So boring. Ah, it's boring. Like, you zoom in and it says. place can definitely be turned back into a farm. A really good farm. But Mr. Handy's fast enough that it's literally good to have him around because as soon as I've hit him, he comes in for the, f the last hit. So he's fast enough that it's like a one-two punch. Yep. I throw down the first one, he hits up the second one. There's a set. It seems that every part of the, um, whenever you find one of these places, there seems to be one freaking... piece of super mutant armor so that means to get a full set of super mutant armor you have to travel to all the places that's not what I wanted the tier 2 um, power armor helmet looks like. It's definitely better than this crappy one. Well, you don't have the power armor helmet on. You took it off. You just haven't replaced it with the tier 2 one yet. Yeah. I need to get that tier 2 one on. 
Or I don't need to. Cause I look cool without it or with it or without it. Good to see you. It's all you're still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet. Or good news. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you are the right person for the job, huh? Thanks, friend. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Let's see why. Let's trade. Of course. Hmm. Well, he you helped us really out. Anything. We won't forget that. Oh, wait. How big is their territory? Ah, I was hoping I could get the damn bus. But... They don't have enough water. But they can get themselves that Holly. Sure. You're assigned to scavenging. This should Let's make it a lot easier. I wonder, can I sign someone to the water pump? And if so, does that mean they can pump extra for people? No. Kind of in a predicament here. They need water really badly. And defenses. Well, with Holly being swapped over to um, scav duty, when I come back next time, maybe they'll have enough. Oh, two new people arrived. Stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. Go ahead and start trying to upgrade your broadsider. I don't have it with me. Said there was nine. Eh, one left. That sucks. This guy's new.
fuck is this other person? Careful. I can fix most things, but people don't fix so easily. Can we trade a few things? Just wanted to trade a few things. Sure thing. I'm just gonna give him some. I'll be right back. Let's see. You can get that. I took care of those super mutants. The settlers were relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. Thank God. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. Excuse me. Is there something you need? How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. <laughs> After all the help you gave me. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Hmm. I can have Preston follow me now. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Mr. Darby, I'm sure you will take good care of my master. Engage you both. Take care, Cosworth. I'll head for home then. Good luck. See Sanctuary Hill. Wait, so you finally got Preston as a companion? Yep. Hopefully that weapons guy gets a lot of trade. I spent money on him getting that fucking thing built. That's it. Don't know if I believe all the stories about the institute. It all sounds like paranoia to me. It's true, the institute's full of psychopathic douchebags. He took my son. So they must die. Rule one of parenting. Kill the motherfucker who takes your kid.
see here. Tesla coils. I need science three. Damn it. That'd be fucking awesome, just throwing the Teslas on. Let's see, modify this one. Headlamp. Is there any mods you can add to any of the parts? Looking for that right now. See legs, can't modify the legs yet. There we go. A full set of two. Raider two armor. Feet look retarded though. The next thing I need to do is get science up. Yeah, it's a level three. That way, you, oh, beyond level three, you can. That way, you've got everything set to where you need it. If I knew the code to cheat myself some points, I would have cheat myself some points just to be a douchebag. <laughs> So I'm gonna go to Grey Garden. College Square is cleared out. It was cleared out, it said. It... What the fuck is this? Hmm. Get on. Preston got exploded. Yep. Sucks to be Preston. Oh, are you heading into the highway? There's a button that you didn't press. I know. Because it's not going to go anywhere. Now are you is sure? it? How the fuck is a button going to go away? Oh, I thought you said I, it's not going to go up. Oh, it's a robo. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. That's pretty ingenious. I bet you can work around the clock. Never seen anything like this. Of course, darling. Our unique hierarchy allows for constant operation. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processes. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A 
testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. What became of Dr. Gray? Like so many others, he died in the war. It was a terrible loss. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. This took a weird turn. Well, it's definitely unique. Sort of hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment, darling. After all, the last thing any woman wants to be is ordinary. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few odd jobs. Ah, uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling, what do you think of the water around here? Seems fine to me. Men. Take it from me, dear. It's ghastly. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is off. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. All right. Marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Great. So these have voices that are totally similar to old movie thingamajigs. They're old TV. Um, she's a TV starlet. Yeah. White. Um, you look green awesome. and brown. Since we haven't heard them talk, they could be, um, starlets as well or something else. Oh, I don't want to. But I love dogs, and I gotta make a living somehow. So I raise them and sell them. I'm always blue for weeks after I sell one. Then I get myself a new puppy and start all over. Got a deal. Oh, yeah. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't. I'll take good care of her. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay. You look like you want me. Yes. Okay. I got a junkyard dog. Definitely red rocket truck stop. Need some other defenses sure. there. Uh, I guess that'll have to be okay. Yep. Okay, girl. This is your uh, new home. He's, he's gonna give you new home. Go on. I was gonna say you want to put you, um, be a good girl. dog meat and right. junkyard dog right. next to each other. I gotta go. You take care of her, all right? I'll take the Mr. Handy Fuel. So let's go. Before we go to the plant, let's check out what the other one's personalities are. Yeah, because. That'll be really interesting to figure out who they would be from their TV personality setup. That's the way. He's an old British leader, I think. From some show. Where the hell is... What is the other color? Green? Yeah, fuck it. Oh! Brown! Br brown sounds like, um, John Hanman. Trade, then let's make a 
Deal. It's green. Green is the other one we need. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Come back here. Supervisor, Supervisor Green. Supervisor Green. Ready to begin your fabulous shopping spree? Gonna pass. That, that's not Alex Trebek. That, that's, um, oh, what is his uh, name? He's from The Price is Right. I forget who his name was, so I just kept on yeah. saying Alex Trebek. Um, it's the Price is Right guy. Um, he was about oh, neutering your pet. Spaying and neutering your pets was one of his sayings? Yeah. It, it's that one. Um, I have to watch Happy Gilmore in order to get his name again. Because he's in Happy Gilmore. Bob Barker, that's his name. Yep, that sounds like it. Was this the place? Apparently, this is a brewery. What the hell was that? Oh, it's on! Well, you could have checked your map. You may have found something in between the two places you were trying to go. Gaffrey has a flamethrower again. Tower Tom, you're gonna die. The, ma the um, comic slash magazine for um, construction is Picket Fences. I've always preferred Quinn, but a bean town brew will do in a pinch. Dead red coat ale.
There's two water treatment plants next to each other. Huh. Why not use the closest one for water? Why'd you have to use the farthest one for water? Oh, this place. The place we had cleared out a little bit earlier. Yep. It was run by mutants. Now we got Brotherhood of Steel setting up here for some reason. And they... Oh, that would be so bad. I hear something. Wonder what the mutants inside have been doing to that water. Filling it with FED, hissing <laughs> in it or something. Doing something with it. Front office terminal. talked for what reason Preston do you even understand how to stealth you just shut the fuck up and walk Be super self, you then crouch. I guess you've got your reasons, but that just looks like junk to me. Doesn't to me, it means that I don't have to spend money on a shipment of that shit. Fuck yourself. I'm gonna stab everybody. In the throat. Wipe and it falls off the ceiling. Yeah, this thing scales too. So it's scaling up with me, and since it's such a far uh, ahead weapon, it's scaling well. Yeah. So I won't need to worry about, you know, getting another melee weapon for a long ass time. And by then, I'll have a resort. Re res a great reserve of ammunition for wet rifles and stuff like that. Right now, I'm just using this because I like it and it's fun, and to save money on ammunition. Yes. Over here. No way I can pick this. Lock tight. Yep, it's picket fences.
You unlocked the cabinet. <laughs> yeah. Unlock cabinet. Unlock safe, finally. Maybe the monitor that you're trying to activate? I think that monitor might be what you need to use to um, open that one door. I know. It's because the area was flooded, they didn't want the doors to open. Where the fuck is Preston? Is he still stuck on the first floor? Dipshit! And the elevator! He had teleported into the elevator. First thing. Wow, people died in here.
Holy fuck, this place is deep. Castle was attacked? Wait, what? It said you failed to help Castle. Did anyone die? More people arrived, but no one died. Might need to get better defenses then. That reminds me, we have to go back to castle. <clears throat> Preston. Fuck it. I'm leaving him behind. Going up. Surface. <clears throat> Darling, so good to see you. You fixed our water problem, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Oh, such a gentleman, too. I simply must give you. Here, you can have some of our produce. I'll ask Greeny to give you a discount, too, if there's anything else you need. 
Now I simply must get back to work. Ta-ta! So... Holy shit, that's enough to get a settlement and shit ton of food. The amount that they gave me? Yeah. This place has zero defenses. Well, let's begin the rebuilding of this place with this. Are you going to see if you can put a Mr. Handy on that? Might as well, they don't need food here. Four defenses now. Search for the railroad. I should really get rid of search for the railroad. I don't want to do that. Somervale. Jamaica. To make a plane. a lot of people that came looking for treasure up here. I don't know any of them that ever came back. I'm no around here. I wanted to introduce myself. It's not everything we expected, but we're willing to work hard to make this a home we can be proud of. Any place you want me to pitch in? Okay. So. This is definitely going to be their farm up here. Maybe. Is dirt soft enough?
Okay. Yeah, in charge of food with the people. All we need to do is get them a faucet. They are fucking good. Just need concrete. Hey, we also need to give them some beds. Oh, that's easy to fix. Okay, that's self. I need to get back here with supplies so I can build turrets. Now, what exactly do I need to build the turrets? Gears. That way you can get the Mark 1s. I can get two Mark 2s for them. I'm gonna build them two Mark 2s. I think I'll build them both here. Great defenses. You also need to put some defenses to the other side. Yeah, but we can worry about that later. Right now, I'm just taking care of the stuff that's really, really dangerous. That side's got the side that spawns um, ghouls the most, so put it there. I'm coming back later anyway, so you know, screw it. Since this is the closest fort I have to the south. Trooper who died. Not really. Holy crap, this place is a fortress pawn of fortresses. It just got levels on and levels of fences here. This is the only smart raider group we've seen so far. So 
besides that dick bag with the uh, the forgers. Yeah. But they're not going to be as tough as the forgers. Church is under attack by the Brotherhood. Light dog armor. There's a church under attack by Brotherhood, what it looks like. That's what it looks like. But I'm guessing there's raiders over there too. Boss shouldn't have tangled with me. I love this weapon. I'm guessing you're gonna try and get this weapon straight the hell off. The blade I'm using. Yeah, but I don't know how to do the whole what you're doing. For unlocks. Unlocks? What do you mean? Didn't that require you to go through some mastery level stuff? Yep. No, so the unlock said object. I don't know how to do that. It's pretty easy. Hit the tilde key, then type in unlock. Alright. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you actually care enough to try and do that. Because it's, it's just a repeat of the Dunwich. I mean, it's just talking about the Dunwich. Yeah. That's all it's doing. There's nothing really important about it. I mean... If it was important, yeah, I would have went back there, searched some more. But from what I found, there was jack shit that was important. Synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates. It makes me sick. This is one weird church. Actually, it's pretty normal for certain areas. Different from our area, because our areas are one. Ours had an upstairs, too. Yeah. Just a little bit different looking. I was referring to the dead bodies downstairs, the various species of dead things. Those are churches all the time. They're not dead yet, but they're getting there. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, look, I'm going to school. You're not stopping me from going to school, Mr. Ghoul. Chapter school. Chapter schools are church schools. Is that right? Correct. I think. Uh, seems like it. They say that made people go mad, the food paste, so I'm guessing the food paste had ghoulification because those guys look newer. Hey look, a first aid. It has electric fists. Interesting motif. Defibrillator <laughs> hands. Yep. It punches you back to life. Guessing lots of lawsuits happen from that one. That model. They run like you, Kenny. Oh, These damn. ghouls. It was a ghoulification, and the reason these ghouls are pink is because they were students and faculty members. That's why they're pink. Uh. Yeah. Uh, I 
similar to that isotope bullshit that America did. Where people were injected with a pure uh, radioactive isotope without knowing it. So I gotta go through this area to get to it. So let's go around and let the projectron in. But the fact that the paste has been there since before the war and it has not aged or perspired. That means it's preservative test, and this preservative is psychotically long li lasting. I mean, come on, that preservative is fucking. So that kind of makes it feel like um, any ghoul were to eat that, they would automatically go feral. who it's shipped in from is a question because there are vats over here oh shit was tossed in and grinded up what the fuck is the shit they tossed in and grinded up to make the fucking pump work was it people it was definitely people this is a soil and green thing isn't it As I had said, it's possible, po probably some it fucking is isotope. It's a fabulous Wednesday here at Suffolk County Charter. Because America actually did that. They actually put radioactive isotopes inside of people without them knowing. Send our team to the regional. Remember, actual baked goods are forbidden on school grounds. So they will be selling colorful cups for your food paste. Oh, also, we will be having a school assembly during second period tomorrow. On the dangers of strangers by Jangles, the moon monkey himself. Oh, Once again, we would like to thank our benefactors from the NAPP program for allowing us to have such a big star come and speak to you kids. We owe our benefactors strict adherence to the rules they have set forth. This is Principal Hudson signing off. Have a great day. Oh, wow, fucking great. So the corporation paid them, and even after the people started turning pink and all that bullshit, this woman still kept on feeding it to kids. And the uh, monkey sounds like it's a reference to uh, McGruff, the crime dog. He probably is.
Hopefully we find Principal Hudson down here, ghoulified. Stab her right in the throat. Maybe. Sounds like that's what it would have done. It's as simple as this, Kenny. there will smash the entire keyboard in one stroke. It was something I found, a dead group of raiders. One of the guys went insane because of the food and killed them, his other companions. So I thought it was a good idea to go and find it. Preston? In the elevator. Hey, Preston? What is it? In here. the elevator. Whatever the fuck. Teacher's lounge, that's what it is. Even the armor can't move now, because I weigh too much. Preston. McDickenstein. Yeah, 
having to keep picking up weapons non-stop. Oh my goodness. Fucking die over there. Oh my goodness. He shattered one of my arms. He shattered my left arm. And you broke your leg as well. Oh wait, just my leg. Shattered my left leg. Douchebag. Hell yeah. Happy Friday all. The NAPP program launched this week with success. But not without problems. I hate to have to throw away your mother's carefully packed lunches. But I am afraid we must put our foot down on this issue. I am assured all of you will get used to the flavor of the case. Also, I have been informed that flavor varieties will be on their way pending continued success of the program. How exciting! To those complaining, I will repeat. There are absolutely no psychological or physical side effects from participation <laughs> in the NAP. Bullshit. Any observed effect is assuredly psychosomatic and possibly related to a lack of trust in the government. Remember, our participation in the NAPP not only helps our school, but in the long run benefits our nation. Thank you for your attention. This is Principal Hudson signing off. Uh, I didn't. Oh, hopefully Hudson was that irradiated bitch who died. I just fucking slipped. The fuck up. So that was an interesting journey. Not how I wanted to spend it. How I wanted it to end. I wanted it ended with me putting the sword all the way through the motherfucking principal's throat. But, Bethesda did not get that memo. I bet even on their people on their staff are like, we want to put a sword through her throat. They're like, nah, we don't have time for that. You always have time for that.
Hey, at least it's honest. Mm -hmm. So head over, bought Atoma toys, and then head over to where you need to go. This guy died during the fast. Staring at the gr memorial. Far. It's limited to city, I think. Like this is really how I wanted to do this. Kill the mutants and have to fight the fucking gunners. It's complete horseshit in my opinion. All I have left is a helmet.
Finally. Because so many motherfuckers spawned in, it's lagging the shit out of my game. Thank you, Karma. Bastards for lagging me the fuck out. They got what they deserve. Why don't you go inside that one room and get the other stuff? But I can also scrap these for stuff. I guess I'll do that later. They're really good. Yeah, go ahead and put them on Preston and then take them over encampment that you get. Convert them down to the materials. <sighs> Cleaned out this area. See, there you go. See, there's always a part of a super mutant's getup somewhere, whether you can, they're at. Hey, okay. What am I? Is it for your armor or something? I think it's for dressing up like super mutants, because everybody wants to dress up like them. Mm. 
so I got armor on my right left. Power's low. Don't worry, you'll just switch over to the next power core. Do the ones I use up go into recharge mode? Or do I, I have to go so. or do I have to go put them inside one of those things? You may have to put them inside the thing. this Why was a military siege weapon playing hide and seek?
Oh, vaults nearby. Nice. You better not cause any trouble. We could really use your help. I'm with the Minutemen. How can I help? Something new <laughs> is living just around the corner. <laughs> It's only a matter of time before there's some real trouble. Now, what's really too bad is it'd be a nice spot for a new settlement. In fact, I know some folks that'd love to set up there if it was safe. You can make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece. Anyone who decides to move in later will be able to rebuild. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. I hear a lot of talk about the railroad. Helping free cents and all that. They don't sound too bad. Do you have a minute? Sure, go ahead. When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. They were the only good guys around, really. When I turned 17, I joined up with Ezra Hollis's company. He was one of the good ones. Really believed in the old-time Minuteman way. We had a few good years there. I felt like I was part of something bigger than me. Like I was really helping make the Commonwealth a better place. It sounds like you were really making a difference. I think we were. I know we were. But obviously it didn't last. I'm sure there was a lot I didn't see or know enough to pay attention to. You know. The politics and rivalries and bad blood between the different groups. I guess General Becker was able to keep a lid on it. Keep everyone more or less on the same team. But after he was killed, it all came out in the open. I couldn't believe it at first. <laughs> These guys were supposed to be Minutemen. They were supposed to put their duty to the people ahead of everything else. You probably think I was pretty naive, huh? I guess I was. Still am, too. Even after everything. I still believe that the Minutemen can be what I always thought they were. The good guys. They can. We are the good guys. We're doing our best. They're better than the Brotherhood. And a lot of it Douchebag has to your West example. Coast Brotherhood coming here. So I guess what I'm trying to say is... Yep. Thanks. Anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to listen. Well, they could be West Coast. I mean, East Coast. But Anytime. part of... Thanks, man. We probably better lines, get back to it. Careful. Other Lions would have... Not giving a shit, probably, about the sense he'd probably find a way to integrate him. Yeah. Zelda Lions is a boss. He's one of the best people. Yeah. We just stop off and repair. Sanctuary's been growing, so I might as well drop by. There's nine people now. There was seven earlier, so two new arrivals. Oh, hey, the place that they're sending you isn't even remotely close to attacking their place. Yeah, it's more likely attacking the other camp. Yep. The one that was on the sandbar. I think that's what it's called. You're with the Minutemen, right? I'll keep up the good work, okay? We need more people like you. Thanks. It's good to know. Remember to support your local minimum. Can we possibly have enough hero. materials to add another component? Here, I want you to have this. I hope you can find a use for it. So we got one scaver lady. Working non stop. Which is good. I 
I should go get the dog and give it some armor. Which one deserves it though? Dog needs a douchebag and won't put it on. So I guess I'll give it a junkyard dog. Press so that's sixty six, seventy six. Hey there, friend. Preston Garp. Come and welcome you. Always welcome around here. Make sure to spread the word that the Minutemen are ready to help anyone who needs it. Sure thing. Now you make. Well, we're trying to work. That motherfucker's right over there. Fucking spreading bullshit. Well, the good word, but you know. Motherfucker, we're busy. Your recruitment speeches can wait. If I had two lead, I could have a... Ah, uh, no, I need science. Shit. Because I want to get that rad scrubber so I can just go to the water side, drink as much water as I can, and, you know, not get radiation. Style HUD. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Does this guy even sell weapons? I assigned him to the job, but you know, I don't think he actually does jack shit. Maybe you need to give him some shit. can I make him do? I guess I gotta build something for him to do. Well, there's the guard post that you have to put someone on. place needs a clinic. Can't afford the big boy, but I can get the tier two. And I'll wait for the big boy.
to the slog we go. Hopefully they built up a lot of resources since I left I left them with that resource collector. You also need to pick up that armor from the um Zeppelin. It's inside the Zeppelin, I believe. Yeah, it's my personal power armor suit. Tighten this. Hey. You're back. Were you able to find those parts? I've got them right here. You do? All right. Let me take a look. Yes. Yes, it's all here. It's really all here. You've more than earned your reward. Here, here, just like I promised. Now I need to get back to work. Finally. There we go. I want to come back and it's a humongous giant giddy up buttercup with gatling guns. We need hey, look, more water. Or he turns it into a fucking gun now. itself. Ooh, their water situation's gone bad apparently from what that person's saying. Did your scaver get any water? Supplies, like I told him. <sighs> Copper rubber oil. Okay, so I need some copper rubber and oil. Well, that should be easy to find. One oil. The, um, you actually have some cement and shit over in um, Sanctuary that you need to bring over here, as well as some gear. Just need the rubber now. Mission can wait. I need to get these guys up and going. For science and bullshit, but mostly science.
Nathan, the gears that you could be using on that could be going to um, water pumps. On what? That um, medium sized um, power that you were going to use. Yeah, I'm going to take it to the guys over there and build them a tier 5. Got the screws and gears. Hmm. <sighs> This brings up the question, can you have someone work on a uh, workbench to make chemical, uh, make uh, medicine or weaponry? I don't know. That weapon guy doesn't seem to do shit. And because that exists, if I had more shit, I could build them a recruitment radio. And all that shit. Actually, I think the taller one would work better for here.
what, have it hovering in that one spot? Yep. You're on security duty, buddy. <laughs> Missile turrets? Oh man, those guys suck to get hit by. Radiation emitter, that's interesting. I don't think they'll have water problems for a long time. So now all I gotta worry about is getting to that damn sandbar. Did you ever visit the castle? See what happened? It was totally fine when I went there. Huh. Which is a weird thing of why did I need to do something about it? Because what was the whole entire problem with it was the kind of thing because there was nothing wrong with it when I went to find it. Maybe turn on your radio to that frequency. So you can hear um, if it has like... We're being attacked or something. Fortified building apparently. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Attention Minutemen, we've just gotten word that a settlement is in trouble. Anyone within range, please respond. The parking lot. Oh my goodness, the slog just got attacked while we were walking away. Send you? Yes, I'm here to help. 
Uh, the disguise a group of raiders that won't leave us alone, stealing our food and supplies, threatening us if we can't give them what they want. I know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. It's nice not to see our head. That's why I don't like listening to Freedom Radio. Now there's ghouls at Sanctuary Hill. Serious? I'm not even gonna uh, complain about how that affects them. I wish I wasn't the only motherfucker who had to go and help those bastards. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Thank minute you, man. End of the line! All right, cross the road, well, stay safe out there. <laughs> <laughs> So, they just took up residence after we came here the first time, correct? Yep. So, anywhere we've previously visited and cleared out will automatically become a target zone for where we need to re-clean out. Well, he's this is here. Yeah. It said legendary raider. That one wasn't a legendary raider, but I hate to say it, but safe, but, you know, when I have to do shit... Yeah, hey, that's a good pistol to have on hand. Ghoul Slayer. Guess what we have to do anyways after this. Oh, it's a shotgun. Go take out the
fetish for fucking uh, mannequins. Don't know. Great place for an ambush. Hmm. Experimental robot. This is Radio Freedom. I wonder if he can be a companion. Sir drinks a lot. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. Beginning startup sequence. Unknown hardware detected. Auxiliary BIOS detected. Flashing operational subroutines. Micro brewers operational. Internal bottling mechanism operational. Output dispensary Buddy. operational. He's a fucking brewer. detected for women. Pale ale. Start up sequence complete. Dispensing this is sample Radio for approval by technician. How would you describe Nothing the testing Keep sample provided? Oh, oh, you got the red um. Dead red coat ale as well. Very good. I appear to be operating at an. Maybe we can move the sanctuary. Shall we commence delivery to the Hotel Rexford? Change of plans. I've decided to keep you myself. Understood. Are you ready to set the parameter? Oh. At this time. I'm ready. <laughs> Very good. Please select the default. Where should we drop them off at? Location. Rocket or Sanctuary or the castle? Which place, Kenny? Sanctuary uh -oh. Hills, Red Rocket Truck Stop, or the castle? It's Castle, Sanctuary, or Red Rocket. Those are the three ones that would do benefit most. Um, castle, that way we can possibly get more people there. But the problem is, if, if people get drunk and they're on the artillery, that's going to be a problem. I don't think it goes that far. I doubt it's I was a fighting robot. I wonder what would happen if you'd send him to the hotel. I don't know. I didn't give a shit. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen Alerts. probably would have been able to get into said place and then he would still go over to wherever you wanted him to go. Don't care. You can try it when you get your when you get your RAM installed. Yeah. Gonna stop recording and record again.